I am Cléopâtre Diane But you can call me Cléo de Merode Or just Cléo If you wish I am most known as Cléo Usually I am the one who is photographed and therefore my face is known all over the world but today I decided I wanted to take the pictures I always wondered what it felt like to be behind the objective to be behind the machine and I have a very modern one right here this apparel is a brownie just came out and I believe it will take the most marvelous cliche so I thought it would be a good idea to try that myself as the photographer so today I will be shooting you nameless dancer well I am after all a dancer before anything else the thing is I don't think I am recognized for my ballerina skills but rather for my mm, angelic beauty I have this um, pure light about myself I don't use any makeup I want to remain virgin like <laughs> but obviously it's only an artifice <laughs> this is just an image nothing 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 about this is real <sighs> nonetheless I have a career as a dancer as I studied at the Opera de Paris I was in several ballet composition shows and unfortunately I don't think that it was my moves that made me famous really all my admirers are fond of me because <laughs> I'm pretty isn't that the only thing that matters <laughs> you know what they say beauty is for the young <sighs> and I am quite young indeed you know I think it was Ellen who said that oh you know Ellen from the Odyssey who said that the beauty that made the glory and happiness of all other women ruined her <laughs> not everyone is happy with being incredibly beautiful <laughs> I am so <laughs> so first off I'm gonna teach you the different pose that are fitting to a model <laughs> so I specialize in religious posts, you know, to keep this angelic aura. So I like this pose. You can try just join your hand together, and it's just as so you are praying. I almost never smile on picture because I think that it's better to look composed and serious. I don't need to smile <laughs> to be considered the most beautiful woman of my age grave eyes 
einfach so lange es geht. Na, let's try. Okay. When you're ready. Good. And I'm going to take another one from this side. And one from this side. I like to take several cliché because you never know how it is going to turn out. So now I have fond memories of my ballet years, especially with Georges Skibin, fantastic dancer, fantastic partner. Oh, we were the star. All the ballets we did together, it was just... He would hold me in his arms and make me fly on the scene. It was, it was really something. <laughs> we had these gay pink dresses with a belt just on the past. And we were just virulent turn around just like butterflies it was a sight to see I missed this time but I have to say it was an exciting time and thanks to my triumph as dancer I had the pleasure to meet some personalities such as um, I don't know, the king of Belgium, for example. Rumor has it we had a liaison, an affair. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> it's no secret. I like a man of power. Of course, it was not um, favorable for me at the time, considering the political um, environment with the Congo war with Belgium. It was, you know. It wasn't a good time to be involved with someone who appeared as the bad guy, really, but the sex was amazing. And the perks of sleeping with a king. I was, I was so rich. I had the most beautiful dresses. I had the most beautiful fans. I only use them to dance but sometimes I like to go out with one it's not really in fashion anymore but we all have fond souvenirs of la belle époque now let's try another pose just stand like this look in the unknown in the far away like so You need to look altier, you need to look like a queen. Just think about Cleopatra, not myself, the other Cleopatra. Mm, the dead one. Mm -hmm. Like this. You are the queen of Egypt. You just look in the distance at your flock. You are their queen. So this is the look you should have. Why don't you try that? Okay. Are you ready? I messed up. Let me try again. Okay. From here now. And from there. See, I have to do this very quickly because um, it should the light should only be in for a fraction of a second. Oh, so you saw that sculpture by Alexandre Falguer, the dancer. He's a filthy liar. Yes, I post 
for him but just for the face I never did nude pose, never oh, well he told everyone he molded the body on my own and that this body is my body although I will acknowledge the fact that it is a beautiful body it is not mine I may have had affairs with kings but I don't pose naked for miserable sculptors so I suggest you verify your sources before bringing something like that up it's quite rude I really really care about maintaining this pure image this image of innocence even if it's not completely true I don't want anything to attack my reputation and I wish to remain seen as the queen of beauty until my end but let's get back to photographing now I'm gonna ask you to look as natural as possible I don't want anything fake to come out so I want you to just look genuine and authentic alright let's go I don't know what it will look like I hope it will come out well but then again I'm not a professional photographer so we'll just have to see we'll just have to see to see to see to see now I am indeed la belle des belles as Jean Cocteau used to say Jean Cocteau uh, merci I am a virgin who's not um, I have this pre raphaelite beauty about me that make men crazy and some women as well <laughs> oh yes I am this royal ghost who will forever haunt 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 the pantheon of beauty of France everyone who will want to be dancer, an actor, a star, a model will have to look up to me as a model they will have to measure their, themselves to my beauty and that is not an easy thing to do <laughs> considering how beautiful I am and I come from quite far, you see my mother she was Belgian and she was impregnated by some idiot of a man who ran away imagine raising your daughter alone not married in the 1800s oh, no, 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 no. it's not something that people would do it's social suicide but my mother did it and she regained a place in the society in the proper society and sent me to the dance academy at age seven and she was so proud so proud of me of my beauty so proud of what I had become I am her revenge on this world uh, yes but anyway it can be a bit boring to me only be seen for my appearance sometimes some days I would like to be more than that than just the most beautiful woman in the world but seeing <laughs> so many artists writers took me as their muse and it's nice to think that I was the inspiration for art, really, but sometimes I wonder what it would be like to just live without all the cameras 
was pointed at me without having to worry about my image. Oh, my image is so important to myself. You know, I actually sued Simone de Beauvoir and won. <laughs> Do you know many women who sue Simone de Beauvoir? <laughs> no, you don't. I won for a symbolic franc. I asked for five million, but <laughs> she wouldn't give in. See, she talked about me in one of her silly books and called me a cocotte. <laughs> she basically slut shamed me, and I didn't want this word to be used to define me because my image is of utmost importance. So I sued her, and once she had to take out the word from her book, sure, I didn't get rich from the lawsuit, from the trial, but still, I won, and I always win. And I stayed in memories as this pure, beautiful. If you want to know more about myself, I invite you to read my book. Yes, I can write too. Le Ballet de ma Vie came out in 55. I'm sure you would like it. I talk about what a life I had. And of course, if you want to see me, for real. I'm afraid you'll have to go to the cemetery of Père Lachaise. Oh, well. <laughs> I was, well, inhumed there. Now, how about the last picture? Or should I take a selfie? I'm quite ahead of my time, you see. Let's take one last picture for remembrance, for posterity. Un, deux, 